Hello friends. So as y'all can tell from the title, in today's video I'm going to be installing this baby. This is a wig from my website arianalyf.com. All the details will be down below in the description box. I custom made this unit so if you guys go to the wig section it will not be on there. Be sure to like, subscribe, notification bell, and visit my website and all that other good stuff. Alright, let's get started. Alright, so we got this bad boy on. I'm going to spray my edges down because they everywhere. Since this is a beginner friendly wig video, I am not doing the ball cap method. I rarely ever wear wig caps, to be honest. To me, it's a whole lot of extra and really nobody's going to notice unless you are trying to do like a 360 wig, a full lace wig or something like that. But if it's just a closure or a frontal and you're only wearing one like specified part, ain't nobody supposed to be that close to your head anyway. So we just gonna go ahead and throw away the whole ball cap method for this video specifically. So I'm going to be putting a little bit of liquid foundation onto the cap of the wig. This stuff is really optional. I know some people don't really like putting makeup on. You can use a lace tint, but to me, this just is what I do. It's very easy, very affordable. You don't have to be an expert to figure out how to do this. Just get you a dense packer brush and some liquid foundation and just gently press it onto the lace. You don't want to press too, too hard because if you do that, sometimes I've had experience with the makeup getting on the hair and then it kind of messes up the whole look, especially if the hair is black and sometimes it can be annoying to try to get makeup off of the hair, especially if it's already straightened. Once you're done with that, you can go in on the inside of your wig cap and you can set it with setting powder. Um, like I said, this entire step is optional. You can do just the liquid foundation and put it on your head or you can do both the liquid foundation and like setting powder. I'm just trying to not make a mess. Either way, as long as it matches the color of your scalp, you straight. Next up, you just want to take some alcohol in a cotton ball. I do prefer 91% isopropyl alcohol, but your girl only got 50 right now, so this is what we're working with. And I'm going around my hairline because I'm trying to make sure that I get any excess oil off of the place where I'm going to be gluing the wig down to. If you're allergic to alcohol, you can use Sea Breeze, but you basically just want to make sure that you're getting any additional oils off of this area of your forehead. So honestly, even some like face washes will work. Just get it clean, girl. I prefer the elastic band method again I made this wig if you guys want to see a tutorial on how I make my wigs I have a video already on my channel about how I make my wigs using a sewing machine but if you guys want to see a handmade method I guess let me know in the comments below so I'm gonna be wearing a middle part because it's the easiest to do for beginners and if it's like a frontal you don't really have to glue down the flaps because this part is honestly the hardest part about wearing frontals because a lot of times this part don't want to stick down so if you just stick to a middle part honestly you'll be good most times you don't even really need a frontal you can just get away with the closure I also used to like so let's say for example this wig still has the lace on it I used to just go ahead and spray it with the lace still attached and then cut it off I personally don't really like that method as much anymore because it's not as simple as just spraying your hairline letting it get tacky and then like pressing it down I guess there's like more hairspray buildup on the hair if you know what I mean and then you have to go through and the cleanup process just takes way longer than it really needs to so what I like to do spray a little bit rub it in like I'm making a line and then I basically just line it up. So I line up my ear tab first just to make sure that the frontal is where it needs to be. And then I will go in and press down the other part of the wig where I put the hairspray in. wearing a middle part the only major part that you need to make sure is laid on your lace is obviously the part where it's going to be showing so probably from like here to here just to give you guys some perspective this is not HD lace this is not transparent lace now obviously it's not laid yet but even just from like this side for me just generically laying it down I still have to go back and make some touch-ups but for the most part the camera's clocking me a little bit but in the mirror it looks pretty good the technique is really in how you cut your lace and I used to make a mistake whenever I was a beginner with like not cutting enough of the lace off because I was afraid to cut the baby hairs. What I realized is that to me, I would prefer to cut the lace 
first as far as like aligning it with your hairline and then with the hair that is left over so like the hair that you don't cut off you can make new baby hairs with that if you want baby hairs if you don't want baby hairs i personally would recommend getting transparent lace unless you just know how to finesse a light brown lace <laughs> i'm just saying because it's different working with different grades of lace my favorite lace to work with as of right now is transparent because it's so thin it's very easy to work with but you just have to know how to match the color of the transparent lace to the color of your scalp because it'll kind of give you like the halo effect if you don't match it right so we are now on to the cleaning of the lace stage again this is not my final form i still definitely have to go up and change the color of this lace and do some magic to it and whatnot but it's just gonna be a middle part y'all ain't gonna see all this okay so we just we just gonna act like we don't see that but just for demo purposes for the video, right here you guys can see a little bit of white residue buildup. I personally like to take a towel. I've tried using cotton balls before. I've tried using paper towels before. Those both leave behind residue in my opinion because it'll start to like ball up and get in the hair. I ain't got time for that. Towels don't do that. So put a little bit of rubbing alcohol on it and then rub it across the part of the hair that has the white residue on it. And as y'all can see, it's gone. I need to fix that. We're not gonna talk about that. Just, just ignore that, okay? So wherever I see it like shiny a little bit like on my skin I'm just gently gently going in with the alcohol because if you go in and just like do damage on the lace then it's gonna come up and then you just wasted your time I kind of put it back too far right there we just just don't look at don't look at this out all right um yeah so we're basically done with that this next step is optional this is baby hairs i know there's like almost like a 50 50 split down the middle in the wig community of people who like baby hairs and people who don't i like them i'm gonna do them especially since my wig is curly and it also helps hide the lace a little bit because i don't feel like going in and i ain't got time for the sorcery y'all i ain't got time for it and honestly the most important swoop in my opinion is the one that is in the middle because again i'm going to be rocking this like a closure so basically i'm gonna be rocking the wig like this so what i'm probably going to do is a swoop right here and then just the two on the side only so we can hide the lace a little bit better also with wigs mousse will be your best friend some people like to use wax sticks but it really to me it depends on the texture of the hair that you're rocking because the thing that i dislike the most about people wearing wigs is whenever the top is like flat and then it's just curly i'm like sis do your natural hair do that i think not so to me it needs to flow it needs to blend it needs to look as if it could actually be your hair and that's not to say that people who have colorful wigs it can't look like their hair to me it's all in the application all right so part is defined now i'm just going to take out the smallest amount again this wig is already like pre-made i've already custom cut the baby hairs and all that so if y'all want to see me do a wig from start to finish comment below so disclaimer again mousse will make your lace lift up if you applied it with hairspray so you need to try to find a mousse that is either alcohol free or you need to know how to work quickly with laying your edges this is just the only mousse that i have i will put some down below that don't have alcohol but for today this is what we're gonna use also this is how i like to do my baby hairs i watch erica J as well as um Oh lord, what's the boy name? Slayed by Jordan. And they put the mousse directly on the hairline, but they're using glue. It can still come up like that as well, but I don't like to personally put it directly on my hairline because my wig flew off one time before and I ain't, I ain't got time for that. So I put it on my fingers and I honestly just put it on the hair. I have a very, very light hand with this because I'm trying my best to keep it off of the lace. description box if you want the exact price that I'm using. You can also just use a do-rag or a scarf or whatever you have at home just to tie it down or you can skip this step all together because there have been times where I have laid my wigs before and I skipped this step. I'm honestly not even going to tie it in the back. I'm just pulling it tight that way I can set this area up here. 
Now, this next step is very important. You guys want to make sure that you comb out the baby hairs. If you guys like the hard, gel down baby hair look, you can keep it as is. I kind of prefer to comb mine out. That's why I like doing the mousse method specifically. I used to lay them down with like the got to be gel and I just, I don't fancy that look, not at all. But you also want to make sure that you're careful while doing this stuff because you don't want to comb up your lace because that's very annoying. But basically it just gives the baby hairs a softer, more natural look in my opinion. And I realized that a lot of you guys who watch me specifically prefer natural makeup, natural hair, as well as like just, just a natural natural effortless type look which I'm definitely here for well that's as soft as that's gonna get so the wig installation is pretty much done you guys can wear this wig like poofy like this or you can also wear it wet I'll insert a photo it wasn't really my favorite makeup look with this photo that's why you guys probably may or may have not seen it on my Instagram I'm gonna do another future updated video with this hair being wet because I do like how it looks I just need to get my life together a little bit more before I present it to y'all so yeah um also if you guys I see like a piece of your lace that's just not working you guys can just try your best to hide it to do that you would just like put a mousse on it so you just put it down like this so you just want to make sure that you set it in the direction that you want the hair to lay and then you let it dry and then once it's done then you can like comb it out with your fingers So the front is pretty much done as y'all can see and you can just comb your fingers through it like that yeah so you know she cute or whatever i feel like with this hair you have to have the look that goes with it because to me there's certain outfits that go with bobs and certain outfits that need like a long just loose type of hairstyle other outfits need a straight wig and then sometimes you just need to rock your natural hair with the fit so it really just depends on my vibe but i do like how this wig looks again if y'all are interested in the details or you would like to purchase this wig or this hair the link is down below in the description box Again, it is arianalys.com. Make sure you guys shop now. I'm thinking about doing a discount code specifically for my subscribers. Let me know if y'all are interested in that. I'm probably going to apply it to my whole store. I don't know if I want it to just run forever or if I just want it to be like certain cut off. But yeah, just, you know, leave a little, little detail down below. Let me know which thing. All right, thank you in advance. Last thing, I am going to be following this video up with a natural makeup beat. So I posted this photo on my Instagram last week. I asked the people in the comment section if they want wanted me to do a video on my natural makeup routine and I put in the caption that I don't wear liquid foundation for some reason my skin just doesn't like it and it always makes my makeup look very caked on I don't have anything on my face right now besides moisturizer this is my natural brow this is my natural skin it's just gonna be like a part one part two type thing so if you haven't seen the makeup video go watch that yeah y'all know what I mean I we, we get it we here so that's pretty much it for this video if you guys made it to the end I really really appreciate it thank you so much if you are new please subscribe to my channel also turn on that notification bell so you guys will get alerts whenever I do upload and also if you made it to the end of the video we're going to drop this emoji down below if you made it this far you are a part of the club thanks again follow me on my Instagram and my other forms of social media links down below in the description as well and I will see you guys in my next video